Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a skin care declutter. It is like <clears throat> Sunday afternoon. <laughs> it is snowing out. I was not going to get ready for this video, but I'm moving. We have an apartment. We have a date. I'm so excited. I'm moving to Miami for those of you wondering. And I have a lot that I need to do. We have a few weeks though. We have time. So I'm actually getting started early and we're starting off with decluttering this. Honestly though, after I declutter it and make it all pretty for you guys, I'm actually going to pack most of the stuff because I won't need all this skincare. But here's the thing. I am not a skincare influencer, a skincare expert by any means, but I get sent a lot of skincare too. And I've always been like, ooh, I can't wait to try that. But in reality, I have very, very sensitive skin and I can't be playing around with my skincare routine too often. I very much need to use a product for at least a month and have a routine for at least a month or my skin will go buck wild. So it doesn't make sense for me to keep all of the skincare that I've received. So much has gone unused. A lot of the stuff that I have in here, I'm like trying to cover it, <laughs> is really, really old as well. It is gonna be need thrown away. This should be interesting because I'm not a huge skincare lover. So I feel like I'll be able to declutter a lot, but at the same time, I I, I do just be curious. Okay, let me show you what we're working with here. Okay, this is kind of hard to show without exposing my messy background, but I have this basically, I don't know, like a bathroom. I don't want to show you my bathroom. It's so messy, but it's the shelving unit thingy from Ikea that I got a few years ago. I don't think they sell this anymore, but it's so pretty. I'm trying to see if I can bring this to my apartment because I love it. Just fits all of my skincare a little too well because I've been able to accumulate way too much. If you look towards the bottom here, sorry if it's shaky, I'm on a tripod that I'm carrying around. That's too big for this room. I have my hair stuff down here, but we're mostly gonna focus on the skincare stuff. I'll do my hair stuff probably on my own, but as you can see right here and right here are what we're going to be focusing on today. All right, we'll start off here because most of this stuff is unused and I know for the first time on my channel, this is actually going to be a cutthroat declutter. It just isn't as valuable as my makeup to me. So the first thing that I see right here is from Pop Beauty. This is the Lit AF Essence. I'm gonna be decluttering this because I don't think I'm going to use this. Next up, I have this travel size of the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I actually tend to keep these for traveling so this is empty so i'm actually going to clean this out but i'm keeping you know what no i'm just gonna throw this away i don't need this this is like empty i got this in a sample this is the peter thomas roth instant firm temporary face tightener i was gonna play around with this for my makeup kit so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this this is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I have a lot of discoloration in my skin and I love Good Molecules, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I can see myself adding this in my routine. Please keep in mind that even though I have sensitive skin, I am a makeup reviewer and beauty reviewer, so I do need to keep some stuff. <laughs> So I have the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Hydrogel Moisturizer. I haven't tried this formulation yet, but if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I absolutely love this skincare line from e.l.f., so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. This is brand new. Most of my new stuff is towards the front, so a lot of it will be kept. This is the First Aid Beauty Radiance Reboot. What are these? I don't know what this is, uh, but... That in of itself tells you I don't need these, so I'm gonna declutter that. Uh, I actually just brought this with me for travel. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I get a lot of these little samples in my Ipsy bag and I love using these for travel, so I'm keeping this. This is my current travel cleanser. So this is a hair product, the Bumble and Bumble Inv Hair Duster Invisible Oil. I actually use this Every time I do my hair, I need to buy a full size eventually. I wanted it within reach, but I'm going to put this with my hair product. Oh, I'm going to have a hard time with this. This is the Sunday Riley High Dose Retinoid Serum. I mean, Sunday Riley is such a good brand, and I feel like retinoids is something that my skin is going to benefit from. I haven't used this yet. I have this put aside to try, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this. As you know, Sunday Riley is a really great brand. Okay, I got to buckle down and be a little bit more cutthroat here. Just this one down here. This is one that I'm currently using. 
I just have it put over to the side, but I'm definitely keeping this. If you watch my videos, you know this is my Holy Grail skincare product. This is the Ola Henriksen Glow OH2 Dark Spot Toner. This works. This helps my acne. It helps my acne scars. Definitely keeping this. So here I have this I Do Care Plush Party Vitamin C Lip Mask. This is a great Korean brand that is also quite affordable, but I'm going to declutter this. This right here is brand new. I actually posted this in a haul recently. This is the Bare Minerals Ageless Phyto AHA Radiance Facial. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I'm very interested in trying out Bare Minerals skincare because I feel like they have really great ingredients. So I'm gonna hold on to this for a little bit. Oh my gosh, I said this was gonna be cutthroat and it's just, it's not. This is the Elf Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Always on the hunt for a great cleansing balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. And I love that it's Elf. Ooh, I don't know about this. This is from Pharmacy. It's the Pore Cleaning Toner. I love toners. I think they really work on my skin. I'm gonna keep this. Oh my gosh, you guys can punish me later. But I love Pharmacy as a brand and I do want to try this toner. This is the Neutrogena Bright Boost Gel Cream. I really wanted to give this a try, but it's been sitting on my skin care shelf for a while so I'm going to declutter this and give this away because it's brand new. Next I have it the Coparia Coconut Rose Toner and since I'm keeping the pharmacy I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this which makes me really sad because I truly do love Copari. I just don't need this right now. It's not gonna be used at the current moment. We also have the Tropical Glow Cleanser. I might declutter this but I'm gonna hold on to it for now because I actually just ran out of the most recent cleanser that I was using so I feel like this actually might be next in line or one of the next ones I use so I'll see how many cleansers I have and if I don't have a lot then I'll keep this but if I do have a lot of cleansers I want to use ahead of this then I will declutter this Ooh, we have the pharmacy sweet apple clean Ma makeup melt away cleansing balm this is one of my favorite makeup cleansing balms but I had a sneaking suspicion that this made my skin break out but I'm not sure it's been a few months I've gotten my skin under control recently so I'm gonna go ahead and give this and if it does make me break out my mom loves this so I will hand this off to her next up we have the sand and sky Australian pink clay mask I just never use this, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I've used it a couple of times. This needs to be thrown away, but I'm going to say goodbye to this. Hiding back here, we have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love the idea of a hyaluronic acid serum, but I think I have a couple in here, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Next up, I have this Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I really, really like this, but I actually already have one open that I'm currently using, and I don't use it religiously like I probably should, so that's a sign to declutter this. Next, I have the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I really like Kate Somerville's products, so I'm going to hold on to this. If I have too many moisturizers, then I'm going to declutter this, but I don't think I have another moisturizer right now that I've decided to keep, so I'm going to hold on to this unless I find more moisturizers. Next, I have the Sand in Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. As great as this looks, I haven't used this. This honestly has been in here for over a year. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Here I have a little travel of my Erno Laszlo Detoxifying Cleansing Oil. This is my favorite all-time cleansing oil. And I keep this for travel. So this is going to... Go ahead and be kept as you can see i use a lot of it Ooh, i really love enos free this is the intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed hmm do i want this i love enos free wow and look it's in completely recyclable package is it a moisturizer i mean it's a serum that delivers a lot of hydration Oh, I'm going to keep this. This sounds awesome. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot I had this. I'm going to go back in my keep list and definitely declutter that because it's much bigger than I thought. Next, we have the I Do Care Berry Melting Makeup Remover Balm. Again, like I said, I love makeup remover balms, but I've already kept the Pharmacy and the e.l.f., so I'm going to give this away. I have a few I Do Care, so let's do this one next. This is the Balancing Heart Leaf Clay Mask. I don't use clay masks too often, so I'm decluttering this. Here is the Juicy Kitten Purifying Power Green 
serum also from I Do Care. I'm going to declutter this. We also have an I Do Care applicator for the mask. I'm going to declutter that, give that to somebody who will use it. Here is the I Do Care Vitamin to Glow Pack. This is a great set. I wanted to keep this for myself because it had a mask, a lip mask, of moisturizing gel and a vitamin C brightening serum, but I'm gonna give this to somebody who will use it because I won't, <laughs> so yeah. It's another Sand and Sky product. I love their marketing here. This is the Australian Pink Glay Smoothing Body Sand. So this isn't even for the face. This is for the body. I like my Kopari body stuff, so I'm going to declutter this. Let's see, what do we have here? You can see we've made huge progress. This is the I Do Care Glow Easy Moisturizing Lip Oil. Why do I have all this I Do Care stuff in here? This isn't even skincare. I'm going to declutter this. This is so cute. This has a bunch of different masks from I Do Care. We have a holographic peel off mask. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this because I do love to play with random masks and this is a great way to try different ones. So I'm keeping that. Let me show you what we have left, there we go. Dang, I should put a mask on right now while I'm here. Okay, I have this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I'm going to declutter this because I haven't used it in a while. Then we have the Pharmacy Bright On Vitamin C Mask. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because, like I said, I love Pharmacy as a brand. This is one of the masks that I want to incorporate into my routine. Okay, I have a couple Honeymoon Glows from Pharmacy. These are really nice. They are in AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I do not need two so i'm gonna keep one I actually do use this like i'll use the bottle and then i'll give my skin a break from it and then i'll use it again so i've been keeping these for backup but truly i only need one then we have the pharmacy honey potion renewing antioxidant hydration mask i absolutely love this this is one of my favorite masks it's one where you when you rub it into your skin it gets warm it's really really awesome I'm gonna keep this, I know I'll use this. Next we have the Rail Beauty Spot Corrector. So this is supposed to help your spots, I guess, from what I can see. I'm going to declutter this, I don't see myself using this. Next we have the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I love sleeping masks, but I currently have one that I am going through, so I'm gonna declutter this. Here is another cleanser that I love. I've already gone through like two of these. So you know I'm keeping the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is a staple one in my rotation, so I'm definitely keeping this. What the heck, I have another Honeymoon Glow. I'm going to declutter this one because why do I need three of these? Next, I have the Milani Replenishing Moisturizer. I wanted to keep this because I wanted to have a drugstore moisturizer to try. So this is the one I'm going to hold on to. These I thought were really, really cool. So I've been holding on to them. These are the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Vitamin C Serums. Because they have these little capsules that you push and the serum comes out. But honestly, I haven't reached for it. I've already kept a couple toners. So I'm going to declutter this. I have a sample of the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I really enjoy this. I think my skin really agrees with this, so I'm going to keep this. Huh, I think I must have gotten this in an Ipsy or something. This is the Laboratories Philorga Oxygen Glow Eyes. I think, yes, this is an eye care moisturizer, so it's for your under eyes. I am going to declutter this. I don't see myself using it. Okay, this is going to be hard. I love good molecules. I have a bunch here. So we have the Instant Cleansing Balm from Good Molecules. I love to promote Good Molecules because their ingredients are good as well as they're affordable. So I'm going to keep this. Oh, I think I'm going to keep everything. <laughs> I just can't not. I've kept these specific products for a reason. We have the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I love a good exfoliator. I feel like it's really great for somebody like me who has a lot of acne scars. I'm just going to have to use it. That's what I'm going to need to remind myself to do. Then I have the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. My plan was to use this when I finished my Biosense one. 
So I'm definitely keeping this. I love a good facial oil. Then we have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I told you guys earlier, I know I have some other Hyaluronic Acid Serums in my collection, and this is the one that I wanted to use. And then we have the Overnight Exfoliating Treatments. I can only keep so many exfoliating treatments, I'm aware, but it's good molecules, so I wanna keep it. Okay, last product. Ugh, I absolutely love Elemis stuff, and I think I have some more Elemis stuff that I'll share with you in a moment. So I'm gonna declutter this, but this is awesome. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I just have a lot of creams and some other ones I'm gonna consider. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I just refilled. I actually had more skincare products in another corner of my bathroom that I didn't know what to do with because I had no space. So this is that stuff. Let's go through it. So first I have this Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. I actually use this a few times, but I really just don't reach for it very often. So I'm gonna throw this away. Then I have this from LMS. This is the Superfood Facial Oil. This is a facial oil that I definitely want to add into my routine once I finish the ones I'm working on. I love a good facial oil, so I really want to try this one out. This must have been from an Ipsy bag. This is the Culture Biome One Serum. I'm really not sure what this is, but the fact that I don't know should tell me to declutter this. Oh my gosh, look. Another honeymoon glow for pharmacy. There was no reason for me to have three, so I will give this away. This, oh my gosh. I remember I really wanted to try this, but that has died down. This is the Amora Visca, it's a cleanser, but I, I don't know. I'm really not sure what this is. It's made in Switzerland and it looked interesting, but ultimately I'm just not gonna use it, so. We'll pass that one on. I've heard amazing things for this, just haven't been able to incorporate it into my routine recently because the last few months I've been severely breaking out, but that's going away. So I'm looking forward to trying this. This is a Shantikai Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Serum. Shantikai creates top of the line skincare, so I definitely wanna hold on to this. Okay, I have a collection you'll see of Ren skincare. So eventually I want to really dive into into Ren skincare and create a whole routine for myself and see if it improves my skin. I've heard great things about the brand. So I'm keeping all of this stuff for once I feel my skin's ready for that. Expect eventually a few months down the line for me to talk about their skincare. It's clean and I think my skin should like it. So we have the Daily AHA Tonic, which I believe is like a toner. I'll have to do more research on this. But like I said, I'm keeping all of the Ren stuff. This, I'm impatiently waiting to try. This is the Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. So this is supposed to help reduce your dark spots overnight. Then we have this Global Protection Daily Cream. So this is just supposed to be for every day to nourish the skin. We also have the Clean Screen Mineral SPF, absolutely keeping this. You can never, ever, ever have too many SPFs, I feel like, and this looks like something I'm very interested in. I don't have too much experience with clean mineral sunscreens. This is the last product from Ren. This is the Overnight Recovery Balm. So this sounds really nice as well, so I'll have to give this a try. Okay, hey, up here hiding, I have the Kopari California Glow Enzyme Scrub. So this is a scrub for the skin. I have saved a lot of masks in this video, so I'm going to declutter this. Man, I love Josie Moran. This is the Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. As much as I wanna keep this, I think Josie Moran's brand is incredible, particularly the body lotions, but I have too many creams, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm really sad, but I just don't need that. <laughs> Okay, I have this pharmacy. This is the Honey Pot Mask. It's just a mini version. Honestly, I've had this for a while, so I'm gonna throw this away. Next, we have this from Polish Choice, another really great skincare brand. This is a C15 Super Booster. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. It must be used alone or added to your favorite moisturizer or serum. Hmm, I'm not really sure what this is. I don't wanna look too far into it in case I regret it, so we'll just give that away. Okay, Murad, what is this from Murad? We have the, it's an SPF 30 moisturizer. Huh, I really have been liking Murad's stuff lately, but I'm not gonna do it. I have too many moisturizers, but that looks interesting. Mm. See those Jersey Moran and Murad stuff, just cause I know I love the brand, I'm like, 
triple thinking about. Okay, then we have the Skin Cuticles Daily Brightening Defense Sunscreen. Because it's a sunscreen, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I love testing out different sunscreens. I'm moving to Florida very soon. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this moisturizer. Not moisturizer, sunscreen. Okay, LMS is a great brand. So we have the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I really love these types of products for my texture. So I'm gonna keep this. I haven't specifically tried this one yet, but I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, this is good. It's been a while since I've used this. I actually finished a whole one of these up, so I'm gonna keep this. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This is really great for resurfacing the skin, so I'm gonna keep this. What is a person gonna do with all this skincare? I don't know. Let me live my life. <laughs> okay, so we have the Milani Avocado Makeup Melter. I already saved a couple makeup melters, so I'm gonna declutter this, but it is not with ease that I declutter that. Speaking of, here is another cleansing balm. This is from LMS. My mom loves LMS, so I'm gonna keep this. I just said I didn't need it, but I, I want it, okay? I have a harder time with brands that I know I love. Okay, so this is brand new. I'm definitely keeping this. I have never tried the ever so famous pixie glow tonic before Open it. and look at this this is it has my name on it so i'm keeping that <laughs> okay guys so now we're gonna work on this part next this is the last of my skincare i'm actually gonna put everything down here because my tripod's not tall enough so give me a moment but this this is what it looks like. So this is a set from Grande Cosmetics, and I already used one of the uh, things in here. Oh no, I gave it to my grandma, that's what I did. Throwing away the packaging, but I'm definitely keeping the lash serum because you know how expensive lash serums are. We also have a microfiber towel. I think that will come in handy for me. We have a little mini sample of Charlotte's Magic Cream. Let me see if it's dried out. Because I'm definitely keeping it if it's not. Do you know how valuable this cream is? Ooh, look. This is kind of dried out. This is expired, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so I see another Ren skincare product right here. This is the Evercalm Anti-Redness Serum. Keeping this for my Ren skincare attempt. And then I have, you can see my backups of my Grande Lash. I'm going to condense them. But again, these are expensive, so I'm keeping them. Yeah, I have a bunch of these. I got these with my makeup fridge. They're basically just spring water to spritz your face with. I feel like these will be really nice when I'm in Florida, but I don't need this many, so I'm gonna keep like one, <laughs> and then the rest I'll give away. Okay, in the corner hiding over here, we have this Pixie 24K Eye Elixir. I just don't need it, so I'm gonna declutter that. Ooh, okay, so I've kept these. These are fairly new, but they're just so cute. I don't know what to do with them. So these are different pixie masks. So let me see what we're working with. I think I'll keep one. So we have a Milky Remedy mask for soothing, toning. Uh, Rose is for nourishing, and then vitamin C is for brightening. I think I will keep the nourishing, and then we'll get rid of these two. I just don't need that many, you know? Also have the Pixie Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. I feel like I can never have too many makeup removers, so I'm definitely keeping that. And we have the Hydrating Milky Serum from Pixie. I just am not in need of any serums at the current moment. It's a soothing serum. Well, I think I'm going to declutter this. I wish I had more than one face so that I could try all this, but I just can't, you know? Then I have this Origin skincare set. There's an eye cream and many other things. Let me declutter that. So then we have the Pixie Milky Tonic. I'm keeping the Glow Tonic. I'm gonna declutter this, but this looks like I want to keep it, but I'm not. Let me be smart here, I don't need to. Mm, I'm gonna have a hard time with this just because I know this is more expensive. This is the Armani Criminera supreme renewing mask i'm gonna keep this because i know this has value and i was gifted this just a few months ago yeah keeping that <laughs> solely because i'm sure it's expensive i've never tried armani skincare before i have some more stuff hiding back here so i have a little tatcha the dewy skin cream is there a product in here oh yeah this is gold i've actually been using the dewy cream lately as my moisturizer so i'm keeping that for sure Next, I have this Dr. Eve 
Ryalth Vitamin C Night Moisturizer. I've actually used this a couple of times, but I'm gonna declutter this. Just, I have too many moisturizers. I also have the e.l.f. All the Feels Facial Oil. Since I've kept like two other facial oils, we'll declutter this. I also have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. I did already decide to keep a different Kate Somerville moisturizer, so I'm going to declutter this. And this I just got in my Ipsy. It's a bunch of different styles of masks. Let me show you. And it looks fun. Like there's oil at the bottom, so I'm keeping these. What is this? Oh, these are hair products. Huh. Oh, and they're, okay, this is for travel. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I have this. Next time I travel, I am bringing these. These are Verb Ghost Shampoo. Keeping that for sure, that's great for travel. Let's see what I have in here. We have the Pixie Rose Oil Blend Nourishing Face Oil. Again, I don't need another face oil, so we'll declutter that. I like this. I've used this a couple times, I think, right? This is the one I've tried. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. This is the, I love a good moisturizer, you guys. The Kopari Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. Gonna keep that. Not that I need to. It's not at a need, it's out of want. I have another water thing. Let me declutter that. <laughs> it's in here. <gasps> oh, another Good Molecules product. Again, I want to do just like with Ren. I want to do this with Good Molecules. This is the Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. Not even open this. Good Molecules really intrigues me, and I really do feel like they come out with such good products. Mm, and it's a toner. I'm keeping it. A lot of this stuff I know is old, so I'm going to declutter it. It's like this Dr. Brandt Pores Vacuum Mask. That has to be old. Same thing with this Wonder Beauty Lift Off Mask. That's definitely old. I think I have a lot of masks in here. Lip. But all of these, this is definitely older. A Pharmacy Sleep Type Firming Night Balm. Ooh, Laneige. Yeah, okay, everything in this bin I have not seen in a really long time. So this all definitely needs to be decluttered. Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. I'm gonna bend down for this. So that is all my skincare. The only skincare you haven't seen is the skincare that's on my sink that I'm currently using. I do have a few sheet masks and whatnot that I'm keeping in my skincare fridge right now, but I'm going to fill up these two shelves and I'll let you know if I reevaluate anything, but I, I'm keeping a lot of skincare. <laughs> oh, jeez, why am I like this? goodness you guys look it's so much better now now obviously I still have like a lot of skincare no person needs this much but you can see it's so much more manageable I know I didn't show you guys this but I keep a lot of my backups here I have my whom pills my deodorants I don't know how I collected so much last serums some shower stuff just extras up top. Here, I kind of organized by brand. So I have my Ren and my Good Molecules because like I said, these are two brands that I really want to do dedicated skincare routines for. I also have all of my masks and patches in here. And then this side down here is a little bit more random. Just the rest of my skincare products that I want to try. I have some bigger items in here just because they fit, but I have my travel skincare stuff. So it's so much better though. So much more organized for me to look at. And then here I just keep my hair stuff, my nail stuff, stuff like that. But wow, it's so much better. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this decluttered video. I hope you enjoyed it. Oops, I almost forgot to show you the damage. It's the next day. 
I was waiting till the sun was out so I can show you, but these are all of the skincare products. I am either decluttering or throwing away, giving away, whatever. Look at all that. It's ridiculous that I was hoarding all of this. Here we go, pretty impressive though. Skincare was definitely a lot easier for me to give away than my precious makeup jewels. I'm actually not even gonna keep this stuff in here for long. I'm about to pack it this evening, but I at least wanted to see it clean. So if you are subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking this time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.